Food at dangerous temperatures again and again gets a popular buffet restaurant in hot water with inspectors recently. And we're now uncovering more about the conditions that could have made you sick. It's tonight's Dirty Dining Report. I like to try a little bit of everything. Gail Pfeiffer enjoys the endless buffet inside the Golden Corral on Olmerton Road in Largo, especially the desserts. So the food seemed fresh? It said dead to me. Did it seem hot enough and cold enough? Yeah. But inspectors might disagree. On March 20th, inspectors found over two and a half pounds of raw mini burgers at dangerous temperatures, forcing the restaurant to throw them out. And it's not the first stop sale in the last year. Three months ago, inspectors discovered ribs, sweet potatoes, cooked noodles, and sliced ham, all improperly cooled and at improper temperatures. 37 pounds total had to be destroyed. And a third stop sale on 10 pounds of roast beef was issued in July because of temperatures that could have made you sick. Are you the manager? I'm the district manager. Oh, you're district manager. Brian Lindley is in charge of several Golden Corral restaurants, but clearly did not want to talk about the Largo location. We have no comments for you. But the state made plenty of comments two weeks ago, documenting small flying insects on the salad bar, food prep area, and server station areas, black green mold around the soda dispensing nozzles, and the dish machine not sanitizing dishes properly. We're doing everything we can to situations here and we're constantly working on it. Other violations to work on over the last eight months included too many ants to count, rodent activity, and roaches, all behind the kitchen doors. But Lindley had nothing more to say. And we don't allow cameras on the premises. Okay. And despite the strong warning from the state, Gail will return. Is it concerning though or would you come back? Oh, I probably would come back. Now, I spoke with Golden Corral's PR agency over the phone, and they sent me this statement, which reads in part, quote, We are aware of the items noted within recent inspection reports at the Largo location and are working with our franchisee to ensure that our quality standards are met consistently, including examining equipment maintenance procedures so that temperatures are at all times within the appropriate range. To see Golden Corral's full rewritten response and other dirty dining restaurants, go to my go to abcactionnews.com slash dining. And if you want to tell me about a dirty restaurant, go to my Facebook page under Wendy Ryan WFTS. Like the page and let me know.